What is the ideal nodule for an SPFA procedures? Right. So when we think about how the nodules change after the procedure, so with pulse ablation, you're not killing the nodule. You're, you're basically stunning it in a way that induces a, apoptosis. So you're inducing a natural organized cell death. And so, so whereas the other procedure, you are basically causing gangrenous necrosis where the tissue is dead. So with, with radiofrequency ablation, I've seen patients come back with a kind of a golf ball knot on the side of their neck and it lasts for months. I mean, it lasts for sometimes a year or so and it takes a long time for some of these to go away. Not everybody shrinks 80% in seven months, you know, six months. Some people it shrinks 40% and then it takes another two years for it to shrink down a lot further. I've seen patients who've had treatment in the past by other doctors and they want a second treatment. And I have to explain to them, this is before pulse ablation, I had to explain to them that, that this is not what you want because it's just gonna stay hard. Your symptoms are not gonna get better. And so with pulse ablation, let's say I'm patient with a really solid hard nodule, those nodules all get what much softer and, okay. and they shrink. And for instance, they don't go like this, like a like a radio frequency ablation nodule will go from this to this. With pulse ablation, it goes like that. So it just is so the thyroid gets much more pliable and soft. And so the patients you know, notice that they have improvement symptoms within a month, within a couple of weeks actually. So so they they can't really feel they feel there's fullness there, but the thyroid's softer. Wow, but it doesn't have that concentric shrinking that you get with RFA where you get that scar around it. Wow. So it's, it's different. That's why that's why one is one seems better for some people, whereas others are to me are better for others. And so that's why I, I have to basically look at the patients first and see the density of the on ultrasound before I can choose as to which one's better.